The House GOP have now officially voted to remove Liz Cheney as chair of the Republican conference. This was something that Cheney was already being threatened by because of the fact that she refuses to lie to the American people about what really transpired during the 2020 election. While Trump loyalists want to pretend as though the election was somehow stolen from Trump, Liz Cheney is one of the few Republican lawmakers who's actually told the truth. Now before Republican lawmakers voted, Cheney gave a speech that was booed by her own colleagues. In that speech, she said, quote, we cannot let the former president drag us backward and make us complicit in his efforts to unravel our democracy. Down the path lies our destruction and potentially the destruction of our country. She also said, if you want leaders who will enable and spread his destructive lies, I'm not your person. You have plenty of others to choose from. That will be their legacy, but I promise you this, after today, I will be leading the fight to restore our party and our nation to conservative principles principles, to defeating socialism, to def, uh, defending our republic, and uh, to making the GOP worthy again of being the party of Lincoln. Now, clearly I've got no love for Liz Cheney, but she does deserve some credit for being willing to tell the truth even as her own colleagues threatened her along the way. Um, and after her speech, uh, we found out that Representative Virginia Fox uh, put forward a motion to remove her. She was removed from her post by a voice vote. So this wasn't an anonymous vote, which was um, initially the plan. Cheney had demanded that uh, they ha hold a vote that is not anonymous. You know, people should be on the record. Um, they kind of chose a middle ground where they did this through a voice vote. And it's obviously very difficult to determine who voted which way. But nonetheless, she's been removed from that position. Representative Steve Scalise, also a member of the GOP leadership said, it's not about right or wrong essentially saying the quiet parts out loud. It's about the focus of our conference and focusing on pushing back on the agenda that's being pushed by the Biden administration. Now, I would argue that it's not impossible, it's not even difficult to push back against policies you disagree with while also simultaneously acknowledging the truth, the reality of the election, the actual events that transpired. But Republicans are gonna go along with what Ever Donald Trump has to say. Donald Trump is delusional enough to believe that the election was stolen from him, even though he and his lawyers failed to provide a single shred of evidence indicating that there was widespread voter fraud or any type of attempt to steal the election from him. But Republicans are gonna go along with his talking points because the Republican Party is now clearly the party of Trump. To the point where some of the most conservative members of their caucus will be pushed back against, will be removed from leadership positions just for telling the American people the truth. Now, after the vote, Liz Cheney spoke to the press and had a pretty significant commitment to the future of the Republican Party and Donald Trump's political future as well. Let's watch. I will do everything I can to ensure uh, that uh, the former president never again gets anywhere near the Oval Office. We have seen the danger uh, that he continues to provoke with his language. Uh, we have seen his lack of commitment and dedication to the Constitution. So she's planning on fighting aggressively against uh, the I guess the possibility of Donald Trump running again and making his way to the Oval Office. I really don't know what her game plan is because in order to do that, you would need to take a look at the Republican electorate and find a way to persuade them that Donald Trump is not the right leader for the party, not the right president to represent Republican constituents. And so far, any and all efforts to do that, whether it's by the left, clearly, <laughs> or by right wingers like Liz Cheney, it just has not worked. It has not worked. Um, so it's really unclear what the future of Republicans like Liz Cheney is gonna look like. Um, is she going to suffer consequences by her own constituents for having the audacity to tell the truth about the election? And so it's, it's hard to really predict what the future holds. But if you look at the current polling in regard to Donald Trump's popularity with Republican voters, there's a reason why Republican lawmakers are supporting him and going along with his talking points because they know 
that their voters will probably come out against them. There will be considerable backlash if they say anything against Donald Trump's narratives. Now, one other thing to bring up that I think is pretty relevant here. Republican lawmakers decided to leave the room as Liz Cheney gave her speech on the House floor. In fact, some of her colleagues even booed her. I wanna show you a small portion of the speech that she gave on the House floor. This happened prior to the voice vote. Millions of Americans have been misled by the former president. They have heard only his words, but not the truth. As he continues to undermine our democratic process, sowing seeds of doubt about whether democracy really works at all. Our duty is clear. Every one of us who has sworn the oath must act to prevent the unraveling of our democracy. This is not about policy. This is not about partisanship. This is about our duty as Americans. Remaining silent and ignoring the lie emboldens the liar. I will not participate in that. I will not sit back and watch in silence while others lead our party down a path that abandons the rule of law and joins the former president's crusade to undermine our democracy. Attacks against our democratic process and the rule of law empower our adversaries and feed communist propaganda that American democracy is a failure. We must speak the truth. Our election was not stolen and America has not failed. She's getting what she deserves. Uh, the chickens have come home to roost. And let me be clear about what I mean here. While I give her credit for the fact that she's willing to suffer the consequences to tell the truth about what actually transpired during the 2020 election. She is standing there and literally lying about communist propaganda. That there's communist propaganda, what, co what communist propaganda? So Liz Cheney, and Republicans like her have lied to the American people consistently throughout their tenure. And when you do that, when you are part and parcel of this militarized effort in the Middle East, when you're someone who pushed the American people to support and accept a preemptive war in Iraq based on false pretenses, based on a lie that there were weapons of mass destruction. When you have built your entire career off of lies, you're gonna lose people and they're gonna have a lot less interest in what you have to say, even when you're telling the truth. She had destroyed her credibility way earlier. I mean, she's continuing to do so while she's lying on the house floor by making up stories and fear mongering about communist propaganda. What communist propaganda? Our corporate media would never dare to, to challenge corporate power in this country. I mean, that's one of the biggest problems. But she's worried about communist propaganda, okay. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.